they are always selling them in a very reasonable price. An Omega Seamaster here. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening everyone. Welcome back to our channel, Mad Corner here. And right now, we are inside the mall. I think this is called Mina Mall. It's right beside the Fukuoka or Tenjin Post Office. The food is good. I think this is Yoshinoya. A local Yoshinoya here inside the mall. And one more thing. If you have any plans to travel uh, in the next few months, please book your travel necessities on Clue and take advantage of my promo code MANCORNERCLUE for discounts. For example, my Wi-Fi on this trip, I booked it there and it's as easy as ABC. Again, use the promo code MADCORNERCLUE. By the way, I ordered the cheesy beef udon and I added some karage. And yes, it is a snack for me. Here is a quick story time while I'm still eating, right? So a while ago, we went to Takayama Pawn Shop. So if you have not watched the video yet, I'll put the link on the description box down below. And then we were on our way to the next destination. And I was just fixing my stuff and the exit. And then someone approached me. And apparently, he's a watcher. So Sir Mel, thank you for watching my videos. And hopefully, I can see you again somewhere. Every time we go to Japan, it has become a tradition checking out the Move Off Super Bazaar. You might ask me now, how come I always do that? Well... Boop Up Super Bazaar is one of the first videos that we did and gained traction in our channel. So every time we have this opportunity, I always make sure to pay time for this place. And if you are not yet familiar with what Boop Up Super Bazaar is, technically it's a thrift store or second-hand shop. So they are selling tons of items that are in second-hand condition. But as we all know, Japanese people are notorious in keeping their items in pristine condition. So second-hand shopping here is a good routine. Once you enter this Wook of Super Bazaar, you'll be greeted with the toys that are on display. So for example, this one, these are guns in their related singers. Yes, tons of monsters. And they also have an Ultraman over there. And vintage Ultraman over here. Wow. I think these are a bit modern. Those two at the back are, I think they are um, vintage. Some mask riders over here or Kamen riders. And then look at this thing. This is huge. And they're selling it for 36,300 yen. And what's that? What is that? Gao Gaigar. It's a robot at the back. And then this one in front is Thunder, Gri Thunder Grin Man. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> and then tons of robots here. Because Japanese culture is not a stranger when it comes to robots and gun and Gundams. Right? As you guys know, Voltus 5, Daimos, and what is that? Uh, Solo Chogo, a uh, deluxe Chogo King Turbo Ranger. Alright, the, the one behind us. And this one, I think this is Bioman. Yeah, I. Bio Robo of Bio Man. Yes, this is a very popular series back when I was a kid. Yes, I I, I watched it as well. A Mustang, an F1. This one, it's a Benz, but I don't know what kind of Benz. And motor. Motorcycle, a Ferrari car. This one, I don't know. Uncharted. Final Fantasy VII, that is a Tifa. Yes, in a different outfit. Harley Quinn. Uh, and there you go, Black Panther for 27,000 yen. It's my first time to see this. It is from the Den Pool and Wolverine movie, and it is the bust, bust up statue of Wolverine, and they're selling it for 16,000 yen. That's how it's supposed to look like. And I'm not sure if I can show it to you from this angle. Uh, yeah, I'm having a hard time because of the reflection, but. This is how it's supposed to look like. Just like what I told you when it comes to robots and Gundams. Japan culture is not a stranger. So Gundams here. I think we saw this tool back in the Gundam F in, in Fukuoka base. And then this one. This is nice. And they're setting it for 7,000 yen. Right? We have more here. More Gundams. Yep. And this one, I think this is the Unicorn in Gundam Perfect Grade, I assume. And then Classics here. Classic Robots. Uh, that is a Mazinger. Mazinger for 55,000 yen. Alright, behind are some vintage stock. 
Where you go? Is that Combatler V? Yeah, I think that is a Combatler V for 66,000 yen. Oh man, Astro Boy, right? Who does not know this if you're watching an anime? This layer is made up of vintage toys. For the prizes, man, they're heavy. So 50,000 yen for this. And then in the upper part, you will see these Gundams that are already built. Sheik's figures, they're always present in every shelf. So you can see uh, a Glid and Glam uh, Rem over here. Oh, by the way, for the price, it's only 1,200 yen. Behind me right now is a wall of Gundam items that you can easily check. For example, this one. This high-grade Gundam is currently listed at 7,000 yen only. There's even a wall of One Piece figures here from Grandista, Flora Noa Zoro, to Ichiban Kujis. They have it here. Anime figures here from Jojo. They have Grandista, Ichiban Kuji, Master Lies. Oh, Spy Family. It's in here, right? You can see it there for 900 yen only. Napa and Raditz. <laughs> yes. For the Raditz, they're selling it for 5,000 yen. And Napa, surprisingly, for 11,000 yen. This one, this figure looks cool. I like it. Son Goku biting the, uh, what you call the tail of Frieza for 4,600 yen only. And then look at this Son Goku. Son Goku, 4,000 yen. This is quite, not bad, not bad. It's quite big, not bad for the price. Look at this My Hero Academia of Deku. They have something in display here uh, from MHA. There's One Piece, uh, Naruto over there, not bad. We found something here which is really massive. Look at my hand. That is my hand, and look how big this item is. This is a Suguru Ghetto from Jujutsu Kaisen, and it says here that if you would like to purchase this product, it's heavy, so please ask the staff. I'm, I'm going to give you a 360 view of it, which is really huge. <laughs> wow, I think it's a scaled one, yes. It's a one-fourth scale of Suguru Ghetto. An Ichiban Kuji King Cluster of Broily sits at 13,000 yen. And then this is the last one of Son Goku versus Frieza. Yes, this is the last one version and they're only selling it for 6,000 yen. That concludes the toy section for this book of Super Bazaar. Now we're going to check the other stuff. Just like what I always say to you guys that your Japan trip is not going to be complete without seeing any Pokemon. In this episode, it's going to be the cards, right? As you can see here, the, by the way, these are not first edition, okay? Just to clear that one out. Uh, this one are more of the modern cards. Look at those Pikachus out there. This is a collaboration with Van Gogh, I assume. This Pikachu over here, and they're selling it for 14,000 yen. I don't know the specifics of these cards, but you have Blastoise, Charizard, and Venusaur. Uh, they're not really, I don't know, they are a bit different from the Holo, so I'm not sure about the specifics of them. It is a wall-to-wall -wall card items in here, guys. So, tons of Pokemons, like this one, it's the Black Charizard. The only Charizard I know that I know is the red one. And then there's a Venusaur here that looks different. Even this one, another Venusaur. And of course... We're not going to miss the manga section or the book section. As you guys know, I'm a huge Slam Dunk fan. And I even have this, I also have this resin statue back at home. Probably I'm going to flash a picture here. And we are lucky enough to even see the actual place of Kamakura. That resonates with the anime of Slam Dunk. I'll give you an idea how huge the manga section or the book section is. Starting there all across there it's all books and mangas boys see oh speaking of slam dunk here they are uh huh it says it's a new one a volume one selection so these are the volume one for each anime slam dunk slam dunk berserk 
Akira. Wow, we have an Akira here. Kodansha special price for 1,500 yen. Card capture Sakura. Even Naruto. It's here. Jujutsu Kaisen, Attack on Titan. They're all sitting here. Again, these are the Volume 1 selection. Look at this one. They even have a Jordan here with the classic colorway. And then this one, SB Dunks. Right? I think, is this the Powerpuff Girls? I'm not sure. St. Patrick's Day. And this one is the Bubbles. Yes, this is from the Powerpuff Girls. Uh, Book of Super Bazaar is kind of underrated when it comes to clothes. Because you can see nice clothes here, man. Like, I'm telling you. And they are always selling them in a very reasonable price. It's just that I'm not sure if they are used. Look what we found here. It's a shirt from our boy Zenitsu. First form Thunderclap and Flash. This is a collaboration between Kimetsu no Yaiba and Uniqlo. And they're selling it for how much? 3,000 yen only. Nice. Since it is the summer season here right now, winter clothes are on sale. Like, for example, this one. This coat. Look at this coat. Right? It's, it's a long coat. And they're selling this for 1,000 200 yen only. That's that's a no-brainer for coat. Nice. I might be wrong about that, but that's what I observed based on the listings of clothes, not just here and on, and on other stores as well. So most of the winter clothes are on sale right now, but then behind me are for summer, right? <laughs> there are some bags here as well. Chrome? And I have no idea what these are. And... They're selling for 60% off, 9,500 yen, 60% off. This is an in-case, uh, it says 50% off. How much is it? In-case, 24,000 yen, so it is down to 12,000 yen. There is a coat section here, uh, this one for 14,000 yen. Coats, 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 coats. This one, how much? How much is this? There you go, 1,600 yen for a coat. This looks nice. How much is it? 4,000 yen only. And look at it, it's large. It's a large size and it looks good, but it's heavy. We asked the details about it, it is intended for men. So for 4,000 yen only, boys. Hmm, it's, not, it's quite good. Let's give it a try. Hmm. Fortunately, guys, there is an imperfection inside, so I didn't want to push my luck with it. So I had to return it. That is something that I can share to you that if you're going to buy here in the secondhand store, make sure to check the outside and in the inside of the item. Anyway, moving on to what we love here, of course, Christian Dior, uh, Fendi. These are the watches available here inside this uh, Book of Super Bazaar. Zeppelin? Oh, ah, Luminox. Oh, here, here you go. It's this is a Tag Heuer uh, Carrera and Caliber 5 for 180,000 yen. And we have an Omega C Master here. Indeed, it is a striking one for 380,000 yen. And a timeless looking Omega C Master here for 200,000 yen. This one, first time to see this constellation. So I think this is intended for women at 120,000 yen. And then down below here, we are seeing something really nice. I think it's a prospects. Yes, this is a prospects. Uh -huh. There you go. Prospects 8L3501E0. And it is currently listed for 270,000 yen. A Grand Seiko Blue Dial for 250,000 yen. And this one, it's a Credor. Seiko Credor at 180,000 yen. And for the past few videos, we've been receiving tons of comments about Citizen. So here you go, guys. 
This is Citizen Chrono at 92,000 yen. I'm not gonna lie, it looks good. The dial, I like the color. And this one, this Seiko Presage at 85,000 yen. Hmm, nice. Very classy, you know, the brown color, the, I mean the brown strap at it. Yes, it is a yes for me. Even this Seiko Presage again at 110,000 yen. So you can use this kinds of stuff on a daily basis. For our Casio friends out there, here you go. Uh, what is this? LCW 12,000 yen. Oceanus at 26,000 yen down to 18,000 yen. Okay. And then for our G-Shock friends out there, here you go guys. This is a wall of G-Shock. Right? Here. So you just have to pick your own poison. They're all here. We're still looking for a manga. And this one, an MTG at 35,000 yen. More Casio here. G-Shocks. Okay. This one, I think this is a collaboration with ANA. It is an airline, right? Wow, this G-Shock. Not bad. Oh, I like this. I like the combination white and black. I'm sorry if you can't see it properly because of the reflection, but from my perspective, there you go. It's nice. And it's only 10,000 yen. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Uh, the watch collection that they have here right now is a bit of a letdown. Probably a lot of people took the good ones. I'm not sure. But who knows? Probably next month they will have a restock. I don't know the frequency of that, but you can try your luck, right? And of course, our Book of Super Bazaar tour is not complete without checking these luxury bags. For example, this LV that is listed for 400,000 yen. This LV at 280,000 yen. And they have a huge number of wallets here. Pure LV, guys. Right? See? And then down below, it's a pouch for 5,000 yen only. <laughs> That's crazy. It is another LV for 150,000 yen. This one, I haven't seen this kind of color. Oh, again, 260,000 yen. And then there is a 10% off discount for tax-free. I'm not sure if that's on top. Just in case my assumption is correct, you will have a total of 20% discount or 20 or 15% discount. This LV kind of gives me the vibe of Yayoi Kusama because of the yellow and black. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to show you this stuff. Have a quick scan. I don't know, how come there's always LV in every corner of Book of Super Bazaar? Even, again, the shoes. Striking orange at 78,000 yen. This one is 130K. This one, this is the 130K and that one is 120. And then some wallets and pouches, all right? Okay, just for you to see. Just a quick view guys, here they are. They also have a wall of shoes here, so look at this dunk, right? Uh, how much is this? This one, it, it's, it's in mint condition, to be honest, can't try on. So they, it is listed for 48,000 yen, wow. That's, that's a price. And what else, what else? This one, I think these are collaborations. I like the colorway, 56,000 yen. And look what we have here. The shoe represents the eye of this genius, Hanamichi Sakuragi. And unfortunately, it is not for sale. It's for the sake of design of this entire shoe wall, right? Tons of Jordans, as you can see there, right? Air Jordans here as well. Everything here is for sale except for that Hanamichi Sakuragi shoe. And this one is at 16,000 yen. Okay. Oh, this one. This is a good colorway for 44,000 yen. I'm not sure. Yes, this is the lost and found. Correct. Lost and found colorway. So we are here in the manga section, boys. And I'm not gonna lie, in terms of the overall experience of Book of Super Bazaar, I think. Uh, this entire place is going to be our shortest experience. I'm not saying it's bad, you know, I'm not saying that. It's just that the past experiences that we had back in Tokyo or around Tokyo 
is far more consuming compared to this one and probably it's because of the proximity of the floor this one feels a lot smaller but in terms of the quality of items they're quite the same so if you have not yet watched our videos in other book of super bazaar please guys watch them after this i'll put the links on the description box down below one more thing if you guys are part of that 95 percent that are not yet subscribed in our channel Please hit that subscribe button. I beg you. That will mean a lot to me because you're going to help your boy out here. And moving forward, you'll be notified on our future videos. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comment section. I would love to hear more from you. If you have any anything in mind, let me know. I personally read all of those things and I'm trying to apply everything that I can every time we do new content. That concludes our Book of Super Bazaar experience here in Fukuoka. And I will see you again next week for another episode. Mad Corner, I'm out! You feel alive, let's hit the dance floor.